Breaking news. So Puff Daddy or PDD or DD or Brother Love, whatever he comes himself these days, is stepping down as chairman of Revolt. So Revolt, as you know it, is um, a media company. TMZ published this article a few minutes ago where they are saying the reason why DD was stepping down. And Diddy doesn't want to mix his personal life with business because he doesn't want to taint the mission of a revolt. There are two people running the company, the CEO, who is the Tavio Samuels, and the chief brand officer, Dion Graham. So the way they put the, the article was written, it almost looks like these two people are the ones that's been running the company, meaning they are involved in the day to day. So this is a way for Diddy to say, I haven't, even though Revolt belongs to me, I'm not the one that actually does the day to day, but everybody knows Diddy is very controlling and there's no way he's not involved in the day to day of this company. And we're pretty sure even the C, like Diddy has power over the, the CEO, he has, he has power over the chief brand officer as well. And we're pretty sure even though he's stepping down, he's just not being the face of the company anymore, but he's, he, he will still pull some strings in the back end for sure. Diddy is very controlling and there's no way he won't be involved, even though those two other people are more than capable of running the company without him. The reason why Diddy is stepping down is because of all the lawsuits coming his way. After the Cassie's lawsuit, there are other lawsuits that actually came his way. Uh, as a matter of fact, there's a, a woman named Joy Dickinson Neal that accused that has accused Didi for um, harming her. We're not going to say the words. We're trying to, because these allegations are so triggering. Um, and there's a lot of people that have been affected by these type of uh, acts. We don't want to trigger them as we actually report on the news. And so we will, going forward, refrain from using the actual words, just uh, out of respect for the, um, the survivors of these types of um, abuses. So we hope you understand. So when we say essay, we're referring to, we're referring to an assault. And so the woman, Joy Dickinson Neal, accused um, Didi for harming her. And even, and this was back in 1991. And um, she also claimed that um, he may have put something in her drink. She insinuated in her lawsuit that he may have put something in her drink, leading her to let Diddy do harm to her body um, where she couldn't actually move or say no for him to stop. And this was back in the 1991. She was still a student and she was in one of uh, Didi's uh, music videos. Following that too, there are some other claims. There's a Jin Do that actually accuses um, Harvey um, Pierre. In that suit specifically, the, um, the victim is actually not just blaming Harvey Pierre, but she's suing also Bad Boy Records. So that involves also Puff Daddy in a way. Along with those same, uh, th that same uh, optic, another woman files another lawsuit against Didi. She's actually claiming that Didi harmed her, but not just Didi. There are some other men that actually harmed her, including Aaron Hall. Now, we didn't know who Aaron Hall is until we actually Googled him, and we think this guy is very gross. Just... Take a listen to this clip. A lot of niggas out there from Jamie Foxx to like <laughs> Denzel Washington to, yeah. to whoever. Everybody know me. Yeah. So sure everybody do. know if I say it, f it to, to death. Yeah. I like the f***ing public, you feel me? Yeah. So niggas can't say nothing about it. Them square ass niggas, them precious cake little dick niggas. Yeah. I like for them <laughs> niggas to see how I f Like if you speak yeah. to Joe to see or Puffy or any of them niggas, yeah. they been at my house. They all see me f they all know I'm a big nigga. Yeah. If a bitch touch my dick and she say my dick is small, then she's a lying yeah. The thing is, that a whole lot of niggas read about taking girls out to shop, taking girls to fly to Dubai and all that shit. Yeah. Close your eyes, we anywhere. You yeah. feel me? And my whole thing is this. <laughs> my whole thing is this yeah. is that Talk about it. if you can handle my dick and you can make me still be Aaron Hall without fucking rabbing off your mouth, then I'll take you anywhere. Other than that shit, 
you back home. Based on Aaron Hall's video alone, if this woman was in the presence of this guy and Didi and some other guys, we weren't there, but we believe this woman. This news is a Revolt TV way of saving the rest of the employees left at the company as well, because we reported not too long ago that there was an employee that has made it public that she was no longer going to associate herself with Revolt TV because she herself was a victim of assault. This is what she posted. FYI, I won't be signing on the third season of Revolt Monuments to Me podcast. I am an essay survivor and I cannot be part of a show that's supposed to uplift black women while Didi leads the company. Believe black women. So we can only imagine how hard it is for employees of Revolt TV to come to work and see Puff Daddy's face every day. What do you think about this news? Do you think it will calm things down at Revolt TV at all? Comment below. We love you for watching. Consider subscribing and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.